Right, hello everybody, welcome to game number 29. Got dwarves, uh, bad times. He's got loads of stand firm and guard a mighty blow and tackle and it's just going to be horrible and the team's going to get slaughtered. His record's all right, but not that good. Um, well, shit. <laughs> Don't be an idiot, Volk. <laughs> <laughs> and Dr. Scarecrow. Probably gone now. Chim, it doesn't matter if people use it or not, does it? You know, like, people who... Like, it looks snazzier, doesn't it, with a diagonal camera? Like, um, what's he called? Uh, what's he called? Russ always used to stream from the diagonal one. It's pretty good for, like, casting, actually. I'm going to do it. I'm going to cast with that. Alright, fair enough. I mean, it's not really an interview, though, is it? It's not really an interview, is it, Dr. Scarecrow? <laughs> is there anything in particular? No, Yak uses free time, doesn't he, Because he's a lunatic and spins all around everywhere. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess it does. Right, is this heat? See, this is a suggestion here. Have, like, heat somewhere <laughs> so I don't have to pick, thinking it's heat. Um, I think I'm going to receive and Dakar in the first half. I don't know what to do. I'll kick. It is heat. Maybe I should have received. <laughs> oh, shit. Ugh. He's only got 11 men. I didn't want to receive against the wizard. I didn't want to like Dakar against the wizard. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's re it's super annoying. Like, that's basic information that you should have to, to like, you know, make your decision on. So yeah, Dr. Scarecrow, the idea being, by receiving, I know I've got 11 men, right? Whereas, I, I can be unlucky. It's more just because I think I'm better <laughs> than any opponent that I ever play. <laughs> um, <laughs> then, I'd rather not get screwed by heat on my drive. Whereas, I'm going to kind of expect them to score anyway, right? Um, so like, but, so, because your default position is like a 1-1 draw, isn't it? Because your kind of default position is a 1-1 draw, um, if you're receiving with less player, fewer players, then there's more chance of them stopping you. Um, and vice versa, obviously, but by starting on defence, you get a fair game, which if you think you're better than your opponent, you'd rather have a fair game, wouldn't you? Whereas if you think you need to get lucky to win, then you're probably better off going the other way and, you know, hoping that they start down players on their offensive drive um, and giving you a better chance. That's basically the idea. Basically about, like, variance and and whether you've got to get lucky to not win. To win, basically. <laughs> um... That's essentially it. 
<laughs> Dr. Juan Bosco, modest Jew, exactly. See, so you know what I mean. Like I, I was joking when I said that, but like, like that's basically it. Like if you feel you need variants to win, which maybe I should have felt, given the two teams, um, then hoping that they like lose four players for their offensive drive can give you a real good chance. No, fair enough, Pedro. But that, that's that's the idea. Because if he loses four players on defense, then that doesn't affect me because I would have scored anyway. Right? Like, let, let's assume there's ridiculous heat. Let's assume that there's a ridiculous heat where one player loses four players. If it's on my offensive drive and I've got seven, I may well not score, get turned over and lose. If it's four players gone from his defence, he wasn't going to stop me whether he had 11 or 7. So it's just all I can do is lose from the heat. Um, and if it was on his offence and my defence, if he loses four players, then okay, it's a, it's a big win. Um, but if, if I lose four players, well, I probably wasn't going to stop him anyway. So all I can do is lose, isn't it? Yeah. And it doesn't affect the first drive. Yeah, exactly. So we've definitely got even players on the first drive. And he has uh, exposed the ball here to a big... A big... Uh, big bit of pressure, hasn't he, really? No, it's disappointing. Il fait maintenant pleuvoir les veines dans l'espoir d'arriver à le plaquer au prochain essai. Had to be the first one, didn't it? <sighs> I've, I've got to re-roll it. I've, this is strength four blood step on the ball is pretty good. Did it on the second one as well. God damn it! <laughs> Woo! Flip me, guys. Two dodges, two ones. Woo! So happy. <laughs> oh dear. L'Union fait la farce. Il s'est fait poutrer. C'est bien comme ça que disent les jeunes de nos jours, non? Nah, I didn't crucify it. I wasn't going to go anywhere else. I mean, like I did crucify it, but you know what I mean. Like I was, I was determined that that was the right play. I would have just not re-rolled it if I wasn't going to stack them. Hello, Baza. They're looking... tenuous. Yeah, because it's, it's badly coded, uh, Dr. Satisfying. Hello, Cyanide. <laughs> um, what you should be able to do, of course, is you can only use dodge once per turn. So if you're, if you're hit by somebody with tackle, you should be able to elect to not use dodge and then use a team re-roll. However, how it works is... You have to use dodge to be able to use a team reroll, and then you don't actually. Then you haven't actually used dodge after all, and then the next time you get to try to use dodge as well. So it's pretty weird. <laughs> it's pretty weird. The, it just forces you to try to use dodge, even though you can't to be able to use a reroll. Don't know why. <laughs> ah, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, if you make tackle... Oh, that, yeah, yeah, because tackle could be optional. Even though it just shouldn't be, but then dodge should be optional sometimes. 
Basically, the dodge should only be optional when you get hit. Shouldn't it? Dodge really shouldn't be optional when you're dodging around. Dodge should really only be optional when you're hit. Yeah. But you shouldn't because... Tackle means you can't use dodge, doesn't it? So you try to use dodge. They use tackle to make you not use dodge. And then... Ah, oh, I can't understand it all. <laughs> all right. I don't know what to do here. Maybe blitz him and then keep... Keep things upfield. Nice. But I mean, really, it should only be it should only be optional when you're um, when you're getting punched, right? Because you're never gonna. You're never going to not use it when you're dodging. You're only going to not use it when you're punched. These guys stand up might as well, I guess. And tackle basically shouldn't... Oh, God damn it! Tackle basically shouldn't be optional because it, your opponent's only going to not use dodge when they don't want to fall over anyway. <laughs> so, like. Yeah, there was a game, okay, one game in thousands. <laughs> but basically, you've got, like, you've got a balance. What? people want and what's realistic haven't you and pretty much the only time you never want you, the pretty much the only time you don't use dodge is when you're getting punched that's the only time you would choose to not use dodge essentially like fend is on optional against frenzy isn't it and there's no need to have it optional otherwise Like, cat should be optional, shouldn't it, but isn't. Block should be optional, but isn't. Where do you draw the line? You know? Like, literally, block should be optional. And you can think of multiple reasons why block should be optional. Like, catch is obvious why catch should be optional. But even block should be optional. <laughs> Loads of times, Hallis. Um, if you're on the sideline and you one dice and you get a both down against a block character, you could choose to not use block to get knocked down instead of surfed. Um, hey, if you've got a rooted tree, you could choose to not use block to stop being rooted. Other options are available. <laughs> that was a disappointing non knockdown, wasn't it? Thanks, Ben. 
god it wasn't a one. <laughs> oh god damn it! <sighs> now he's got the guards next to him. So I'm gonna do those twos at the end. Woohoo! Si Has he got stunned for him? No, he's got dodge. Ugh. Yuck. If he moves, then he can block him free, which I don't really want. He can block him free already, but they haven't got guards. It's not as bad. That was disappointing, wasn't it? Not power the dwarf there. Yeah. There's, a, there's quite a few. There's quite a few times where you would not want to use block, but it's obviously stupid to make it optional because 99.5% or whatever the time you're gonna want to not use it. So like, you're gonna what you're gonna want to use it. So like, you, there's an argument to be made for making everything um, optional technically, but it's also shit and wrong to make everything. <laughs> Optional. <laughs> if you've got a bit of a brain. Boo. I'll go here and then he can't run through the gap. Okay, not dead. Wonderful. He's gonna block with the with the troll slayer. He is. Woo! Oh, you done goofed, son. Let's choose this one. <laughs> he even did that. He's like, I can block and then two dice him again. <laughs> no, you can't, mate. Right. The problem here is the guards, isn't it? I'll claw the guards. Three guards on that square. He's got tackle. Everyone having tackle. Why has he got tackle on his blitzer? No need for that, is there? And there's a tackle, there's a guard here. <sighs> Everything's a two plus and it's just horrible.
Ils vont en découdre mano à mano, va bah, bah. Ah pour ça, il faut se rapprocher jusqu'à sentir la laine de l'adversaire et voir les insectes coller entre ses dents Sans qu'on va se barrer Surtout si le porteur du ballon se fait plaquer Il vaudrait mieux qu'il revide le ballon Tant que dans le collimateur C'est ça Vite fait bien fait Le touchdown est en vue Là. So close. I guess this guy should have been here. Wrestler should have been here, shouldn't he? But still. Not terrible. Um, yeah, I guess that's right, yeah. Always red, as in danger, danger. <laughs> Whew. I got a tackle, he's got a tackle bitter and a tackle runner, what's that about? <laughs> what a scumbag, as if he hasn't got enough tackle. Yeah, this this wrestler should have been here, shouldn't he? I was I was running out of time desperately. But the wrestler should have been here. God damn it. Le soutien suffira-t-il à prendre le dessus? Ce joueur s'est écrasé comme une fiante de snuffing. No, that one's a white because I could have used dodge, but I didn't, wasn't it? But then I couldn't really use dodge. Oh, move nine isn't even on the field, is he? Hey, he's out of rerolls. Woohoo! That's pretty good. He's not hitting the ball. Outrageous. Dead. Brilliant. Well, he's the move 7 1. <laughs> Fuck him. But it just fail anyway. It's a guaranteed fail lap all that. Yep. He served the team well, he did. This is a bit greedy, isn't it, blitzing him? Because I have to have the reroll available for the dodge. On the other hand, he's armor eight. He could get hurt. Got tackle on him. Ha! 
to him. Well, would have liked to have scored that a turn sooner, I guess. Oh, nailed by the heat. Him a little bit. Would have been nice if his runner had been gone, wouldn't it? Chance to turn him over and score here with three. But I mean, him not having rerolls doesn't affect him that much, does it? Bloody dwarves. It was the move bust, yeah. yeah. Call the herd. Yeah, like it was—it was only going to work on a three plus, wasn't it? The apo, and then he's minus moved already. He was basically denied apo rights once he got his minus move. I think I'd still rather have him than not have him. But hey, hey there's the heat gun. percent and not bad. But yeah, it's a tricky score though, isn't it? With no re-rolls and a pass necessary. Yeah, like he was already he was already he was already kinda of living on borrowed time, wasn't he, with a minus move? That was the thing. He's managed to not blitz. Which is great. That is simply not true. The meta does not support your assertion. Oh, dude. Dude! I also want to go for this. <laughs> I want to go for it, so I will. Afterwards, I guess. You can stay there. Oh, let's blitz. Do it smartly. Pretty tragic. <laughs> That's pretty tragic. <laughs> oh, Kaz! <laughs> that levels him as well. <laughs> Ha 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 
fucking levels him. <laughs> levels from causing a causing a dwarf long beard. Woo! There you go, Pedro. That you can't do that anymore in 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 the new rules. In the new rules of Blood Bowl 2020, when you declare the blitz, you you've got to declare who you're hitting. So that sort of play will not be able to be done in Blood Bowl 2020, and presumably in Blood Bowl 3, if you're still watching Sinai. <laughs> <laughs> it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's a bit different, that, isn't it, Bazaar? Like, you've always been supposed to declare the pass at the start of the action. But... That's a bit different. I should have put him in front, I don't know why I just put him behind, just laziness. But it was, it, in a way it's good having him in front there, because then it encourages him to go for this guy, which is obviously harder for him to score, because he's got to go laterally as well. Rather than just passing straight down like that. No catch it to intercept though. Jim Shard. Failed to pass or intercept. Either one's good. In the crowd? Yep. Back this way? Okay, that's good enough. That's good enough, isn't it? That is good enough. Disappointing. Il devait avoir de la colle sur les doigts. Une passe rapide. Ah, bien vu ça. Une transmission suivie d'une passe. Un grand classique. I don't want to fail this, but I guess I've so I guess I've got to make the dodge. Don't want to leave him there, but move <laughs> for nine is pretty quick, yeah. <laughs> He does both. Both bitch there, by the way, the air move now. That's why the strength four was up as the uh, <laughs> moved into play first as the canoring threat. He's in range still. He's the line or should have been a square in front. But <laughs> Sorry, fan fox. <laughs> With one skill up, even though it's movement, you are a bolt bitch. <laughs> and there's no move ten, is there in uh, in the new in the new game? That'll be interesting. 
4v5 plus dodge. Blah. Alright, so he can get here for an assist. Or for a blitz. Either one. Oh, but he's got him here. That doesn't really matter, does he? he just blitzes and he dodges, picks up double cheer first. No, oh, well. New player instantly killed. Go for the uh, power rapport? Nah. Not at this point. Not nearly 2 0 up. So badly hurt, could have power up it. Yes, no claw pump is the best thing, yeah. Yeah. Exactly, Pedro, and it's gotten easier with the new rules. With the being able to use multiple rerolls in a turn. So yeah. Uh, juggernaut kill. And grab for sidestep. So if you've got a jugger and a grab. If he fails this though, then the guard is uh, free. Which doesn't really make any difference. <laughs> nah, it's just a blitz for a push, isn't it? He blitzes for a push, then he dodges and GFOs. That's all there is. This has got to be. This has got to be the way. Alright. 2 0 up. Time to Dakar. <laughs> Time to da And Wizard gone as well. Incredible. Trying to dacker like our lives depend on it because they do. Now I'm regretting not appling him really, but hey. Dacker, dacker, dacker. Yeah, that's that's the thing, isn't it? So yeah, at least it's interactive. Yeah, Jahanian. Yeah, they just everyone gets the right. It's a big nerf to Woody's actually losing the sprint. Because obviously, uh, yeah, got one Mengel, so now there's only three. Now there's only three wins left, and probably two wins, because this is looking like a win, isn't it? So it's looking like two more wins now. Um, yeah, the heat changed, Pedro. It changed to normal right after my guys got fucking fucked by it. <laughs> He's eight away, and he is seven away. I think he wants to get plot step. Only got one tackle though, which is a bit rubbish, isn't it? It is a shame that Daka, the Daka gets better, isn't it? Um, but on the other hand, Daka's pretty fun. I could go there and blitz him back. That's maybe better, isn't it? No, I guess the blitz is worse though hey! with him doing that. I really do like. I really do like that. Uh, that the you know the Dakar was created by like someone actually created a new, a valid way of playing that wasn't, you know, standard. It's pretty amazing, really. 
Exactly, blob skills. Yeah, that was the uh, that was a bit of the idea as well. T B H. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Lemon. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, pretty amazing, right? A game has existed since 1994, vir with virtually hardly any changes since 94, and yet somebody found a new way to play it. It's pretty amazing. But yes, Daka didn't do it. As, as we've been, as we've been educated, it wasn't Matt Daka that that did it. But still. It's amazing that, you know, it's been thought of by people other than Matt Dagger. <laughs> uh, this current edition is 94. Like the 1988 game. I think 1986 is when it started, like was first edition. Um, but the, the those versions are like nothing like modern Blood Bowl. Like two more completions for Fan Fox. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, okay, Rando. I mean essentially so it's not it's not changed much it's not changed much since 94 that's the point whereas it's changed a lot since like 86 I think 86 was first dead and 88 was second dead but it's not that different from it what, what it was in 94 even though it's you know quite <laughs> quite a bit different like the you know the turn that was when they had turnovers and block dice and most of the modern stat line awesome oh, thank I don't really want to get a him surf, do I? Put him there. And him there to uh, make it more annoying to go that side. I love the Daka. Daka, Daka, Daka. Tu as vu cette passe, Bob? On a parfois tendance. Mis un peu. Ah, si seulement il peut tourner le ballon. It's so good. Shawnee invented the touchdown foul, actually. I've seen the Venger boys live, you know. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. This seems pretty hard to deal with, though. I'm not, I'm not particularly happy about this.
Touchdown! <laughs> Oh, of course I don't. He doesn't need to get the ball back now, does he? <laughs> Definitely no throwers, Rando. <laughs> He does, yeah, Doug, he does, but <laughs> in this game, it's probably better to have it in a blood stepper, isn't it, right now? <laughs> than just doing, <laughs> doing completions. <laughs> he did Pedro, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much what they do, Moradam, isn't it, in Total Warhammer? That is pretty much what the what the high elves do. Just shoot and run away and shoot and run away. It's brilliant. Not winning yet. <laughs> G6. Not winning yet. He plays in like crappy schedule leagues. I really wish he had the ball now because the bloodstepper could have blitzed here. Or like just assisted. And then he could have blocked and he could have blitzed or whatever. He's got to just dodge. Ce joueur pourrait faire se battre entouré. Get off my fucking pitch, prick. <laughs> You could go right in the corner. And get the ball passed to him. I'd like it's so in mind because he's right in the way. It'd be better if he didn't have the ball. Then he could just blitz this guy and the ball could run into the thing. So it's... I've really done goofed by uh, not handing the ball back. I guess this is it. Le porteur bloque en personne. C'est très dangereux. Bon GS, sur ça, le ballon est moins menacé. Si le joueur trébuche hors du terrain, il finira dans les tribunes. Et connaissez pas de pitli poo. Ce serait une très mauvaise idée pour lui. Woo! We want a side stepper. I don't have a side stepper to hold there. Uh... Ah, but he can base him. And then he can punch him as well. <laughs> oh, yes. Beating up dwarves, the best.
<laughs> yeah, they must have been powering up their punches, yeah. This is bad though, isn't it? Giving him the defenseless uh, armor seven to punch. Should have been the blood stepper there. Should have been the blood stepper there and the uh well, rookie catcher there. Well not rookie, move nine. Hey! Boo, he got the pow. Look a dog. An absolute look a dog. He's gone for a foul, isn't he? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> With that position. <laughs> Makes me think just foul. He's 2 0 down. Yeah, the BBSL Dwarf Division is ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> so unlucky for Inarian. I still think you'll get a win, though. Or two. Or maybe even three. Oh. Like, you could definitely beat me. <laughs> me with Dwarves and him with Halflings. <laughs> I mean, I'm ashamed to say. <laughs> oh, that's his bribe. He's used. Woo. So the blitz here is amazing, isn't it? But the problem is a push is no good. But, like, the power is just super incredible. You can score if you want, no problem. I know. <laughs> Not BM, by the way. <laughs> I know. I know I can score. <laughs> you can score, by the way. No fucking shit, Sherlock. <laughs> How are you going to fucking stop me? <laughs> Outstanding. <laughs> Amazing. That's pretty funny, isn't it? Oops. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, this is tough. But if it works, it's glorious. It didn't work. <laughs> oh, hello, Flicky. Sorry, that was that was brilliant, that though, wasn't it? You can score if you want. <laughs> oh shit! What are you little dwarf bastards gonna do? I know he wasn't being a dick, but it was just funny, wasn't it? It was just funny that you can score. You can score if you want. I don't understand that I have the toy yet. I don't know what that means. But, um... <laughs> that was amazing, wasn't it? <laughs> that was so funny. You can score if you want. No shit. <laughs> oh, dear. I think he's playing with the high elves with the fouls. I think that's what he meant. Amazing. Hey. Oh yeah, it could have been. Yeah, yeah. You can score if you want. I'm gonna foul your players. Yeah, I guess. I guess it could have just been like that. Yeah, little buzz. Yeah, that's that's fair actually.
Oh. He's guard. He's armor eight. I could have re-rolled that, couldn't I? Uh, shit. Yeah, should have re-rolled it. Doesn't matter though, does it? <laughs> Saving the re-rolls for overtime, you know it. play to be fouled up, but still got the apple for him, so... Just don't kill him, please. Please don't die. Please don't die. Hey, oh, badly hurt, please. Hey! <laughs> well, funny. Now, let's nope the fuck out of here. do and Z just go here and pass to him. Let's pass to him. He could go to 45, he could go to 25. Let's get go from the tackle. Iron Face Tyson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oof. Hey. Blitz and kill his runner. Yeah, that's not a bad shout, is it? That's not a bad shout. It's not a bad shout. Oh, maybe he should have scored on the blue. Nah, he's too far away, isn't he? Enjoying playing the East Tower. <laughs> oh no. Nah, he's been alright, hasn't he? He's been, uh, he's been alright. He's been uh, alright. Don't want to antagonise him. It just, it just, just funny, but yeah, maybe as it was, as was said in chat, it was like, score if you want, I'm going to kill your players. But it just, it was just funny because it's just the way I read it as, <laughs> you can score if you want. And it's like, yeah, no shit. <laughs> so that was that was probably my bad on on reading that wrongly. He did play fast, yeah. 
Yeah, catch is really good, isn't it? Catch is really good. Very good, yeah, Pedro. That seems to be the way this team goes, though. Like, it just literally beats people 3-0, or it gets ground to dust. <laughs> One was a death, sadly, Slim. Maybe I should have uploaded it. But, like, you know, he's got low to tackle and mighty blow, hasn't it? Like, he, there was a chance of him. And this was a minus move. Catcher. Yeah, for sure, Fern. It's, it's great, isn't it, having that catch to, to get them. Because it facilitates the target SVPs more as well, doesn't it, with like the handoffs back to them. Amazing. Maybe kill. Maybe. <laughs> Might just roll with three catches. Because the the move nine one has to get skilled up, doesn't he? Like, there's just not time to to skill up more people. Like if this was earlier in the season and there was like, you know <laughs> Um that was the catcher that could have got Mighty Blow right at the start. Yeah, Limit Break BB, yeah. So he would he would have been really good, wouldn't he, if he was Bludge, Mighty Blow, Tackle. Then he would have got an apple. Ah! He'd still be move 7, though. Hey. I could apple it, but I'm not going to. You can have your... You can have your toy. Yeah, that's what he meant. I realise now, yeah, he just meant you can score if you want, but I'm going to uh, I'm kill your players is what he meant. Yeah, sorry, it was a minus move. And I thought the apple would just fail anyway. So I was saving it in case, like, you know, there was one to apple. And it was very early as well. Like, if it had been later, obviously I would have appled it because, like, you know, the second half of the Dakar and everything. But it was like really early on. So there was the whole rest of the game to go, getting hit by Mighty Bow Tacklers. And he was already minus moved. So he wasn't super. God, how many SPPs there? 16, 20, 25. So, like, if it had been later, I would have bought it for sure. But it was just so early. And I didn't even see the MVP. God, often, I often don't notice the MVP. Uh, who was the MVP? Oh yeah, 29, he's two away now. Nice. Nice, he can get two completions to go to uh, 31 now, hopefully. Alright. Does he go dodge? He's got to, hasn't he? And he could go wrestle, I think. He can go wrestle and he can go dodge. And then... Maybe buy a rookie catcher. Or maybe just buy another lineman. Or maybe not buy anything and go with 12 players. Go with 11 players for a game. Interesting decisions to be made. But for now, two more wins to qualify for the playoffs. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.